Sorry, I'm like half dead right now. Anyways, I uh, I got the remote for the PlayStation, which is fancy. Um, Noodle got it for me for my birthday after I asked. And yeah, it's really nice because as you can see on the screen here, that the, the PS2 is turned off right now. But if I just do, if I just do that, then like, there we go. <laughs> the PS2 turns itself on. It's so fancy. And since I have that fancy memory card, it'll automatically detect what game's in the PS2, and it'll automatically switch over to my Dark Cloud uh, memory card, which I already copied our old save over to. So like, it's really cool. I can also do another thing with it too, which I might as well show off real quick because it's nice. So with the fancy memory card, um, in order for it to go back into the free McBoot mode, it has to um, it has to be turned completely off, but thankfully the remote can do that too. So if I hold the button, there we go, it turns all the way off. I need to have my controller ready though. Controller on. Okay. And then I turn on the PS2 and we wait for it to come on and for the controller to connect. And then I configured it so if I hold a certain button, it'll take me to, hopefully, yeah, to OPL, the official open PS2 loader. <laughs> oh, I also need to change because I had to restart my, uh, my upscaler, so it might look a little weird. Um, but anyways, yeah, so... I have, I have, like, all my games on, well, not all my games, but, holy shit, Nate with the three months, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I did not expect that. Naughty Thank you so Alistair much, man. Mr. Naughty Alistair. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, dude. Seriously, that's insane. Um, I don't remember. I think that's 50 votes. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. What do you want your 50 votes to go to? But uh, anyways, so yeah, the, the point was <laughs> that I was getting to is so like if I'm laying in bed and playing games, I have the wireless controller adapter so I can play using a PS3 controller. I have the DVD remote here that technically also works as a controller, but why would you ever want to? Anyways, um, so that I can like turn off and restart the PlayStation 2 and whatnot without getting up. And then I have all of my favorite PS2 games. I have um, a backed up to freaking what you call it to my to my server so that I can just play them from like here. So if I wanted to play some uh, Dawn of Mana instead, I can just click that and then it will automatically create a memory card for me with that fancy memory card and switch to it, and then it'll just freaking like pop right up, man. Like is really cool now obviously the ps2 loader since it is a homebrew application doesn't load every game perfectly many games work just fine but not all of them are you know perfect but still it is really cool so now it's basically like having a modern console um <laughs> but on the ps2 you know with all of the the digital game library and not having to worry about saves or any of that BS, you know, it all just, it all just works. It's really cool. Really, really happy about that. I haven't taken advantage of it at all yet, but I love the fact that I can if I decide to. Um, where'd I sit my, oh, here we go. I need to fix this real quick. Yeah, load profile. Long, long uh, ago. Frame lock. Of magic. There we go. In the very center of the ocean. Ah, I need to kill the menu. Actually, you know what? Do buffer. It's fine. Technically, we get a little bit more uh, latency in the, the picture there, but it'll be a smooth 60 in FPS instead of whatever the, the console Fadien. decides to actually put out. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, I just wanted to. I just really enjoy the job. remote and the and the the ability to use the ps2 like a modern console and whatnot with just the hassle of having to use that there to turn it on and off um so that's pretty cool but no we're actually playing dark cloud today and we're playing from disc not from opl so gonna restart the ps2 let it boot up here and we'll get into it nate oh my guy okay i see what you're doing i was gonna say like you didn't tell me what you want the votes on but I see. I see. You're loading up the list. That makes <laughs> that makes sense. Take your time, my guy. Take your time. You're good. No worries. Um, 
trying to think if I have any suggestions of games. Obviously, it's... Uh, oh, nope, put that in the wrong spot. Obviously, it's completely up to you. But what have I been into recently? Um, new games that we got or whatever. I should... Update the website at some point more. Uh, Grim Grimoires, pretty cool one that I've been wanting to play. Future Tactics is one that I played as a kid. That's pretty cool. Um, that's just games like to play, though. Innocent Life is a Harvest Moon type of game. That's really cool. Uh, Onimusha. Wait, I have Onimusha too? Well, then it's a good thing I didn't buy it at the game store that day I wanted to, because apparently I own it. I don't remember buying that game at any point. Anyways, whatever. Uh, Shepherd's Crossing is something I've always just wanted to try. That's cool. Soul Calibur is a ton of fun. Uh, YS, the Ark of Nepotism. Nep 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 <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's a game series that I've always wanted to try but never have. That'd be pretty cool. If you want your votes to go further, though, and you want to vote on something that, you know, is a game to complete, not just a game to try out, then... I mean, Jack 2 was a really popular one for you personally. Um, Kingdom Hearts Rechain or Chain of Memories would be pretty cool. Onimusha, again, is something that I think would be fun to finish. Um, the Last of Us it doesn't have many votes, but that's a game series I've been wanting to try for a while. Honestly, a lot of good stuff, man. Again, vote on whatever the hell you want, of course. Take a look at the list. Take your time. But, yeah, lots of good things. Anyways, Dark Cloud. Let's get into it, shall we? Harvest Moon back to nature? You got it, my gun. Harvest Moon back to nature. 67 plus 50. That's 117. Ooh, not 67,117. That is... That's a bit much. I mean, like, I'm down for it. Oh, wait. I put that on the wrong game. I put that on Harry Potter. Uh, it has three currently. There we go. 53. <laughs> it's like, I didn't think Harvest Moon had that many votes, but I wasn't upset about it either. I'm glad that I caught that. I was on the, I was on the wrong thing. It's actually, um, oh, my controller must be dying, but that's fine. I have a uh, charger right here. Uh, anyways, yeah. No, I wasn't. Glad I caught it, but I wouldn't have been upset about it having that many votes either. That is my personal favorite Harvest Moon game. And I believe it's one of the, like, better regarded ones as well, but... But yeah, one of my favorites, regardless. Feel like it'd be nice to have a chill game come up? Too true, too true, man. I, uh... I don't know, I just like Harvest Moon. <laughs> Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, those type of like farming games and stuff. They've always been uh, very comforting games for me, you know? Sort of thing to just play to help sleep at night or when you're having a bad day or just to play because they're awesome freaking games. So I'm down for sure. Oh, Final Fantasy VII and Seven Remake. Those are other ones that I want to do again soon-ish. I know you've already voted, but like... Just throwing that out there. And then Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, uh, eventually. Not in a rush for Rebirth, because like I'm playing through it right now in my own time, as I can. But I still think, you know, that would be another another good one. The uh, Seven Remake games are actually just like really freaking good. I'm loving the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth so far. I haven't gotten a ton of playtime. I think I'm sitting around 10 hours, maybe 11, something like that at this point. Um, honestly, I haven't even done like anything for the story beyond the first chapter. Once I got to the open world, I've just started like clearing the overworld of all like the side quests and towers and all that sort of stuff, you know, because it's it's that sort of open world game. You find a tower that unlocks side things, areas of interest, etc., and then you do those and then repeat sort of sort of thing. Um, and of course, like side quests and all that what not exist too. So that's mostly what I've been working on is that's not how you attack in this game. Um, this is going well. Which which weapon are we using too? This is oh my god! <laughs> I forget how to play. This is what happens when I play like other games in between games here. Okay, so that recovers our poison. How is our weapon? 
Which weapon do we even have equipped? Okay, we have the only good weapon that he actually owns right now equipped. And it's exact, exactly, yeah, exactly halfway to leveling up. And has a, roughly half of the tip points left, so we should be good on that for now. Shiny stone, very cool. I do remember... Ugh, all my water! That water costs valuable cash, man. Oh my god, everything poisons us here. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna switch to the ranged girl. It's fine. And then hopefully we won't get poisoned as much. Problem solved. It's still gonna be annoying, the poison, though, because we have to switch to the other dude from time to time. How do we lock on on this game? Circle, okay. Why are you running away? Bruh, seriously, she's like not even trying to attack us. She's just letting us letting us murder her. Slowly, but still. Oh my god. Why is she taking like so little damage? We do have like our good. Ah, no poison. Okay. Our good thing equipped, right? How many weapons does she have? Ah, no, we have like the middle one equipped, that's why. Okay, that's why it's doing so little damage. I mean, we still might as well work through its health pool that it has and then swap back to whatever the other one is, uh, the bandit one. Bandit one's really cool because it can also steal weapons from people, but like, yeah. More river? That's really cool, because our goal right now in, like, the overworld is getting the river all dealt with. Like, running it to the end or whatever. That's the big goal. I mean, I'm sure we want to get everybody's homes back and all that stuff, too, right? Like, it's not just the river, but that's the, the main thing that we're trying to do here in, in this town. And that dude that, like, is in the hut, he has to be some kind of party character at some point, man. I refuse to believe anything else. I really don't want to use another antidote on him, but we might have to just so he doesn't die while he's opening the Atla. Ooh, okay, well we can get a heal up here. That won't fix his poison status, but at least it'll reset his health back to max. And with this health reset back at max, we might actually be okay. I'm not positive if poison clears itself when we leave the dungeon. It would be nice if it did, but I don't remember if it does or not. I, I want to say no for some reason, but that feels wrong, you know? Colt, what's up, man? Welcome. How you doing today? Hope things have been going well for you, my guy. It's a weird dungeon. It just feels very, like, empty compared to most of them that we've been dealing with. Forgot to lock on. I feel like hornets are gonna... are gonna poison us, too. Pretty much everything down here. It's better to just, like, stay away from them, man. They're all kind of evil. That's for the owl. We do have more repair powder, right? No? Oh, no. Uh, I had no idea we were actually, like, out of repair powder. And we're pretty short on funds, too, so that kind of sucks. Um, no, we definitely don't want to equip that one. That one's our good one, and it's already close to dying. I guess we gotta go back to main bro here and use his weapons for a bit. Just kind of... Screw it. I guess we'll heal his poison. I just know as soon as we heal his poison, we're going to get poisoned again, man. It's going to end up being pointless. We have a lot of food. Maybe we should have just dealt with the poison and, and accepted it. I don't know. Cut your nails early. You have naturally long nails, so it takes a fair bit of work to do it. Hell yeah, dude. 
self-care. I like it. <laughs> no, I, uh, I just hate having long nails. So I cut mine pretty consistently. They're not like, other than being harder maybe than your average person's nails. Other than that, my nails aren't a pain to do or anything though. So that sucks. But what was I saying? Oh, but I bet it's nice to have them all cut and done and whatnot now though. Now that the work got put in, you know? Ah, oh, the Wise Owl Shop. That's actually really cool. I'm... Oh, my God. Everything with the poison, man. Why does everything in this godforsaken forest poison you? Uh, is there another, like, heal spot down here somewhere? We don't have any more antidote. What are the chances this heals me? Increase our weapon's durability. That's nice, but... Run away, run away, run away. Will you give me an antidote? No, you gave me water, which is all fine and dandy, but what I really need is an antidote. Holy shit, Nate. Oh, crap. I didn't realize, like, I thought there was going to be an eating animation. I didn't realize it was going to just, like, instantly eat. <sighs> okay, um, Stardew Valley. Hell yeah, dude. I will add that now. Times 25. You're really looking for one of them chill games to get picked, eh? 25. It has 6 right now. That'll take it up to 31. And I... Okay, I did type it in right. Excellent. Nails get long enough that you occasionally hit buttons by mistake on controller? That's crazy, man. Yeah, no, like I said, my nails aren't nearly that long. Not even close. I never, I never let them get that long, but they're not, like, naturally long or anything either, though, so... Flea. We need to change weapons now, which sucks because this is his good weapon. I didn't realize we were like out of everything. We really should have bought some stuff before we came down into this level of the dungeon, but yeah, that was my mistake. Um, no, so there's still one more room over here. I think we're just gonna have to leave the, this dungeon and come back, sadly. I'm gonna try and explore this last room if we don't die first. We do have the uh, the magic powder that'll let us escape the escape powder. I mean, like, if this is... Oh, that's another house. I was gonna say, if that's the last Atla, then that would be extra nice. Because then, you know, whenever the dungeon regenerates when we come back down here, whatever we get, we could just beeline for the exit, but no luck. You can hit the start button when thumbing the square button. Oh wait, this is a PS4 controller. I could just barely, like if I was using <laughs> the base, like the very, very far down my thumb. I also have small hands though, for, for a dude of my size. My hands are, are very small, all things considered. So like, yeah, there's that too, I guess, but, but whatever. That's wild, man. Uh, menu. We need river. River's the big thing. Give me river. I mean, we'll probably just take, like... I was gonna say just a straight line, but I guess not. We're gonna have to come in somewhere. Maybe here. That should fill that up, right? Because this is all connected. Yeah, that's all connected. And then... I don't know how we get the fishing pond to fill back up with water. I'm assuming it just kind of does it on its own somehow. But yeah, so we, we want to just basically come straight down and over with that. Um, See, I'm tempted to like move the river over here, but where it comes through at is kind of awkward. Yeah, it's not until here that it actually comes through. Can we... What if we... Okay, yeah, so we could rotate that. And then I just want to give us as much space as possible to, like, build actual stuff. There we go. So move all that down to there. And then, yeah, none of this is allowed to be built on anyways. 
So now it's just like right up against the wall. That's kind of nice. And it gives us some use for, for our bridges. Um, <laughs> honestly, I hate the bridges, but I'm just going to keep putting them every couple of tiles in <laughs> random places. Because like, wait, what happens if you put one in the middle? Oh, it won't let you. Like in the, the corner, I guess, is what I was trying to say. Anyways, uh, we got new, new other stuff. Cacao's house and mushroom house is already down. Watermail. Why is Al shop? That's the one I care about. Won't go there. Honestly, would kind of like it in the front of town here. Hmm. We can't turn it and put it over here, can we? We can. Let's go. Okay, that's perfect. I think that's the front of it. We see there. Is that the front? I'm pretty sure it's the front. And then we got... That's down. Well one, that's down. So it's just Cacao's house now. Is Cacao the dude that... that we found? I kind of feel like, I don't know, this is a tree house and stuff. I kind of feel like it should just be tucked away back here somewhere. I don't know. Nowhere, like, really good to put it? Maybe just, maybe just here. Sure, that's good enough. Pretty nifty for a PS2 game, being able to edit the map like this. Yeah, it's a really weird mix, though, being like a dungeon crawler, roguelike, roguelite, rather, kind of game, but then city builder? <laughs> like, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, um, but I'm, I'm enjoying it so far, a lot. And yeah, having the map editing tools is cool. That's one of the things I always loved about um, Tony Hawk back in the day. Always carries an instrument. Who always carries an instrument? Wildcat scarf. Maybe we haven't unlocked them yet. I mean, we haven't even finished that level. Uh, so, yeah. But anyways, yeah. Like, um... The Tony Hawk games. That's what I was talking about. You could make your own levels and stuff. And I always thought that was really cool. I used to spend a lot of time doing that. I was, wasn't really good at it at all, but like, still really enjoyed doing it. Required to gain entrance, all this. And then one of these will end up going there eventually, but let's go talk to the wise old owl though. Because I don't think we'll be able to finish his shop until we actually go and say hello. Halo had a map editor called Forge, that's very true. Forge, was it Halo 3 that Forge was like super powerful on? You could actually do like all kinds of, not just map editing, but make like whole game modes and stuff like that. Halo 3 is when it started, okay, that makes a lot of sense. I only played a lot of Halo 1. Halo 2 I played, but not as much of, and Halo 3 I played like once and then just never played again. Ho oh, ho ho, you're a new face here, I'm Mr. Mustache, I own this store. Um, how would you like me to rebuild your house? The an entrance to my store, roof at the top, and a sign is a must. Like the sign on top of the roof, okay. Um, how should I rebuild the village? Thanks for asking, now listen carefully, it's not gonna be an easy one. I need water all around this store, got it? See, I don't think that actually matters though. <laughs> like, they, they have preferences, but I don't think you have to give them what they want at all. You just have to, like, fill all the slots on their, on their building. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about that. But I think as long as I do that, he will be happy enough. A thing that rotates. Probably this. And then... Mushroom house. Doesn't look like I have whatever you need yet. Cheerful wife. Nope. Sister, quiet girl with... Mm, small guy with a wildcat scarf? No, that sounds like a child. No idea, then. What goes in either one of these spots? 
what person or whatever that is. And we probably won't figure out what this is until we get the other person in there. Uh, we can do this house a little bit, though. There, there. Uh, stairs. Clothesline. And then cacao. Always carries an instrument. Okay, yeah, so we don't have them yet, sadly. Alright, well, at the very least, though, now that we got everything for the wise owl here, we should be able to use this shop instead of having to go back to the initial town. Which would be super handy, on honestly. Hey, the Reach was your favorite for Forge? So I just never played them. I want to play more. Me and my brother started playing through whatever the first one chronologically is. And, uh... Like, whenever they did the the remaster of them all, the big pack, um, we were doing a run-through on Legendary. We got through a handful of missions, and then for whatever reason, we just kind of stopped playing, so, well. One of these days. I'm not a big, like, multiplayer FPS guy these days, though, either. I mostly just do, like, co-op or solo for that sort of thing. Wise Shop is open again. I certainly appreciate all you have done, sir. Just for you, a special discount offer. Look at this. Is that new? Oh, it's a new sword? Just a minute. Don't mis misunderstand. I didn't say it was free. Still have to charge you, but I'll give you a discount price. Oh, that's... Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I was a little excited, though. 500 Gilda? Uh, I'm poor as shit. I mean, 2,500, that's half off. I guess that's nice, but I have, like, what, maybe 100 on me? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a struggle. Um, it's finished. Store's not expensive. Just give me my store a try. You won't regret it. Whatever. What do you have for sale? You have food? Water? You have antidotes? Uh, gold bullion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's for if you have too much money. You actually sell less than the other dude, but you do sell repair powder, and you do sell food, you sell water, so you sell all the main stuff, at least. We are very poor, though. We actually only have 76. Um... So we can't even afford any antidote, which is really annoying. We need all the repair powder we can get. Like, there's no way around that. How much? Let's understand language of the forest people. I feel like that's going to come in handy for something. How much would you give me for that? 25? Take it. 200 for the bait here? Wait, what? Why was that held? Oh, because you said in the butt. That's fine. <laughs> Halo 3's Forge had this bug that was called ghost merging, which allowed you to mess up the physics on objects so you could place them into st or phase them into stuff. But it was a pain in the butt, so Halo Reach took that and made it an easy-to-use feature. That See, I love when uh, developers do stuff like that. Like, just as an example, right? There's um, Mario Maker, which, don't get me wrong, freaking love Mario Maker. It's a ton of fun. I love playing Mario games. But, Ni but Nintendo is so anal about everything needs to be done their way and nothing else. So, like, <laughs> you can't... I, honestly, it just limits the community. I understand not wanting to have everything be, like, a glitchy mess or whatever. But let people have fun with it, man. Whenever people figured out how to glitch stuff into things on... Um, oh, we should use that whenever we go back down. Uh, on Mario Maker, whenever people figured out how to glitch stuff into things, they just patched it out, you know? <laughs> they didn't make it a, a feature or anything cool like that. They were just like, ah, yeah, no. I don't think you guys need to be doing this. You know, we're gonna sell these two, because they're, like, super expensive. How much is the banana worth? Only 40. These are also worth 40. How much are the gourds worth? Not allowed to sell them. Cheese, 30, 60. I'm trying to get to the 2,500 that we need for that, but I don't think it's going to happen. Although, now that I know that bait sells for so much money, we can go back and get more bait at the other town. And sell some more, sell some more bait. And this here. This is also super cool. I didn't realize we had that. That'll be super handy once we go back to that floor. All right, we'll be back, Mr. Al. I'm going to be buying more stuff from you. Hopefully that sword, actually. 
watch the sword be complete trash. Go through all this trouble to get enough money to, to buy it, and then find out that it's, like, worse than the base sword somehow, you know? It's absolute garbage. <laughs> I'd be so mad. Adventure day 10. Oh, it tracks how many days it takes us. I wonder, uh, what about the average, like, number of days is to complete the game. Or not complete, but at least finish. No rune village, please and thank. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Can you see the old woman? Excuse me. <coughs> see the old woman, get our crap back, and then, yeah. Base sword is always best sword, just have to unlock its potential. That's honestly... I believe that, um, in this game. So... <clears throat> I don't know how much of the game you've seen, Nate, but the, the system's a little weird, because your weapons have levels, right? So once you get their ABS down there filled up, you can level them up. But you can only level them up five or six times, something like that. And once you do, they won't level up any farther. But you can turn them into a special gem, and different weapons have different um, things that you can customize them with, right? And these blue spots, these blue spots here let you use synth spheres as well as normal attachments. Synth spheres are what it's called whenever you like break down a weapon. Um, and so whatever its stats are currently, you get, I'm just throwing this number out there, you get like 60% of it as a boost to whatever you apply it to. Um, so in theory, you could take this basic dagger and like break down the five or six strongest weapons in the game and then use them all as synth spheres when you level up the dagger and make it the strongest thing in the game by far. Um, what I don't know is, is whether the basic dagger also can only be leveled up five or six times, or if you can level it up as many times as you want. I have no idea. And beyond that, something I haven't been able to do yet because it seems like a pain in the butt to do, um, if we go to any of these other weapons here, like the, the base lard here, You'll notice it has a build-up thing here. So if you get all of the stats that are in red there up to whatever, it doesn't tell you what level it needs to be at, but up to a certain level, then you can actually, like, turn it into a newer, stronger weapon. So, like, there's a lot of... There's a lot of systems in place here, and I haven't really got to mess with them at all. <laughs> like, it's it seems like... It seems like you can probably make the basic weapon the strongest weapon for everybody, though. Um, but of course, weapons also have durability, and if they hit a certain point, they break forever, and then you're just SOL. Um, which is what hap has happened to me a lot, sadly. I wasn't... In the early game, it's hard to come across repair powder, so I was trying to maximize the amount of repairing I could do. Or the amount of use I could get out of a weapon before having to repair, and yeah. So far, I haven't found a free way to repair. You just have to either hope to get it from a dungeon as a drop, or you have to pay for the stupid powder, and it's just like... Huh, it's, it's, it's rough, man. Um, okay, how much money do we currently have? Did I change the name of the stream? It should be... Playing some more Dark Cloud. Stream 4, right? Should be? It's what it, yeah, it's what it shows me, at least. As it being called. Seems to be a trend in general, like the Wooden Sword and Ninja Gaiden. You know, I've never... I don't remember if I've ever actually played Ninja Gaiden before or not. I know of Ninja Gaiden, of course, but I don't know if I've ever actually played it or not. <laughs> like... Yeah, I'm not sure. We have a couple of these seeds. Um, sure. And then, can we sort this stuff? I'll keep the seeds. All this fish bait. Again, fishing is another thing that I really want to do. Because it seems like you can probably get something really cool from it. But it's such a pain. <laughs> like... All the time that we spent trying to fish, it was probably only like a half hour, but we didn't even get a freaking bite the whole time, man. So it's like, I don't know, I just kind of gave up on it, I guess. Um, maybe like, well, no, because I have Final Fantasy VII now. I'm going to say maybe I'll just like off stream, screw around with it and try to... Oh, wait, not the forest. Um, the village. Maybe I'll, like, try to fish and start getting up some FP, which is the fishing points, so that we can trade it in for whatever that weapon is. 
But uh, no, all my off time, I'm probably gonna be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Your phone it on your phone in the play menu. It says SpongeBob. Maybe I forgot. Maybe like I click things out of order. I hit start streaming and then updated the title. Clicked uh, done on that. That's a possibility, I guess. I'm not sure. I wonder if he pays so much for the worms, because, like, does he eat them? 2500. Wise Owl Sword. Legendary sword made by Wise Owl's Artisan. Alright, well, we got it. I have no idea if it's actually good. I hope it is. 400, 400. Okay, so he's paying 250 for these and they're 400. Oh wait, you can buy more than one of the swords? I mean, I guess that's nice in case it breaks or something. I feel like we've gotten super unlucky with our drops so far in the game, to be honest, but... We don't... Oh, we have enough left over to buy one antidote. Okay. We have three... Repair powders. I'm really hoping we find a free way to repair at some point. Like, even if you have to leave the dungeon and talk to somebody, it would just be really nice. Because, like, even now, when we left the dungeon, if we go to weapons, the weapon durability is still whatever it was before we left, so. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it was worth the 2500 that we paid for. It. it has lower endurance than our current weapon. The same attack. Granted, it is one level lower, but that's only a couple attack points. Um... Slightly higher speed, which I guess is nice, and a lower MP. But whatever, at least it's another weapon that we can use. Which means farther we can go into the dungeon if we run out of repair powder or whatever. Um, Sorry, I went hiking a couple of days ago. Like, a, I don't remember exactly how long of a hike. I want to say like nine miles or something like that. And a lot of it was near the water. And I got chewed up by mosquitoes, and one of them is right here, and it's starting to itch now. Um, but I have like one, two, three, four. I know there's like one or two down here by my elbow. I have a couple on this arm somewhere, one there, one there. Like two or three over here. Like, I got chewed up by freaking mosquitoes, man. Is ridiculous. Normally, I'm pretty lucky with mosquitoes. I don't really get bit all that much, but not this time, man. This time, they destroyed me. Is itchy. I think we have everything we need. Oh, wait, we did get all the Atla. Hell yeah. Okay, so yeah, we just need to find the exit then and get out of this one. Oh, we need to equip our anti-poison thing. Whatever you want to call it. This. Amulet. So. I never really said how to use it. I think we just have it highlighted. And it just kind of does its own thing. See, it's really not doing that much damage, man. See, like, every single one of those hits we just took, though, would have probably poisoned us if we didn't have that thing equipped, so... That's really handy. It saves us a bunch of money. If we want to get a couple more of those amulets somehow, I would be down. Okay, so speed seems, like, related to how many strikes it can do as part of a combo, maybe? I can't tell if it actually feels any faster or not. But we already need to change our weapon though. That didn't last very long. Uh, we can use this one. It kind of sucks, but whatever. Might as well use it. See, like, its attack power is literally one-fourth, but it wasn't doing that much worse. I wonder if it's related to... This one doing fire damage. Maybe that witch is just, like, weak to fire damage or something? Oh, no, it's doing about the same amount of damage to the hornet. Unless just everything down here is weak to fire. I guess that's a... A, a reasonable possibility. Attack plus three is good. It's a lot of extra attack whenever we 
go to upgrade. One of these is a mimic. Both of these might be mimics. No, not that one. I refuse to believe they're both actual chests, though. Bruh. <laughs> Who puts checks next, right next to each other like that? Money stone. Oh, we get it back. It's fun. Regardless, we've spent all of our money anyway, so it doesn't really matter either way, I suppose. Oh, God. So we got that fairy stone that tells us where everything is, which is nice, but what we didn't get is that. <laughs> That's actually what I was hoping for, because uh, that'll tell us the way out. Do we still have... Now, I think when you leave the dungeon, you lose them. Yeah, okay, so we only have the strawberry, which it's we could get super lucky and the strawberry could be what the owl wants in order to let us out of this uh, level of the dungeon. But we have no way of actually knowing that. We just have to find him and kind of hope for the best. Since we have the map now, though, we should be able to see it. Oh, it's right next to the entrance over there. Okay. We could kill some things for more weapon experience, but I don't think it's worth it. I mean, technically they do drop things too, but just barely. It seems like weapons only come from large chests. I guess we could at least check that last chest, just to make sure it's not a large one. I don't remember if uh, large chests show up any differently or not on the, the map whenever you have the thing. The thing that tells you where everything is, the magic stone. Good, antidote amulet ripped. That's excellent. Um, <laughs> hey, Al. What are the chances you want the strawberry, huh? Hey, that was actually one he wanted, too. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, we're still going to check that last chest, but first, we need to change our weapon. Um, to the, the wise, wait. Maybe we weren't using the Wise Owl Sword? Were we using the Sax? When we first got here? Okay, yeah, that's doing a lot more damage than... I don't know, man, I'm confused. Unless the Wise Owl Sword, like, fixes itself over time. Oh, that is... How is its attack's power the same as Sax, but it's doing so much more damage? I'm so confused. I obviously don't understand something, or I'm misremembering something. One or the other. Possibly both. And I wonder, since it's like a legendary weapon, quote unquote, does it have an actual upgrade path? It does. It needs more attack, endurance, and MP. It needs thunder and holy attributes, and it needs some other stuff. Okay. Um, I can give you a bunch more attack. But I feel like what we should actually do... ...is... ...repair Sax plus one, since it already has one upgrade on it. I'd rather just finish upgrading it first, because I'm pretty sure there's a limited number of weapons you can actually carry on you at any point. Um, so yeah, I'd rather like finish upgrading the sacks first. That way we can break it down and incorporate it into our dagger. It might be worth breaking the dagger before we start applying any sort of upgrades to it. Just in case you can't like upgrade it forever or break it down into a synth sphere and start over. Okay, so how much damage is the sax doing? Okay, yeah, so I must have been using a weaker weapon or something because this one's also doing 30, 40 damage per hit. Oh, you're dick. Oh, I didn't know the witches did that. There's not a heal pool in here? No. And then 
We actually need more health as well. I'll trade these and eat that. I'm actually wanting more fish bait to spawn now, just so we can sell it. Uh, <laughs> like, again, that weapon that you get from fishing, probably really cool, but I don't think I'm ever going to spend the time to do it. So now I just kind of want to sell it for money. The torch, what's the last one? We still need, we still need a character. I saw we got Pow's house, which is nice. We got another house, Barons. I mean, we do have like four people without a home, so I guess getting more houses is nice too. Speak of fish bait, there we go, bro. You're gonna poison me, aren't you? Nope. We got lucky. That's also fish bait, although I doubt a carrot is worth all that much. I'm, at the same time, I didn't think a prickly worm would be worth all that much money, though, so obviously, what do I know? Uh, Mr. Wise Owl, sir, what are the chances you want a pointy nut? That is exactly what he wanted. We're not going to go down, though. We do need to fully explore the level. If nothing else, then just to see if there's any Atla we missed, any large chests would be super cool. Uh, but definitely Atla. That's kind of the whole goal here. Uh, what sword are we holding? The sax? I don't care. We'll go over it. Pumped with energy. I think that makes us a little bit stronger. The stamina. Yeah, okay. We did a lot more. Shining stone. Uh, weapon. Do you currently have anything equipped? You do. I don't think you need this stuff, though. But I'm pretty sure you need more attack. I guess we could double check real quick. Yeah, you definitely need more attack. Oh no, you do need Holy and Wind as well. Uh, you know what though? More attack does more for me right now. So. We'll take that. And then customize. Go ahead and throw these on there. Atla. I'm glad with the regular weapons, just swinging them doesn't do anything. Like, doesn't take away any of your weapon durability or anything. That would really suck. It does with the slingshots, but it's because the stamina is more like an ammo count with those weapons than anything else. Sorry. God, I am exhausted, man. Jesus. My trend of waking up stupidly early has continued lately, and I'm not a fan. Stupidly early for me, to be clear. For somebody that doesn't go to bed until, you know, between 4 and 6 in the morning. Stupidly early. Oh, you're a dick. I'm pretty sure that's the only antidote we had, too, that I used. Yep. Um, well, I guess we're switching to her then. Weapons. Repair. And even though this one kind of sucks, repair. And that's all of our repair powder. We'll start with the bandit slingshot. Use that first. Nothing. Okay. Completely empty room back there. Hey, if nothing else, that poisonous apple is something we can sell. I think it can be used as bait too. I'm pretty sure I saw that on a forum post at one point. There's definitely some like dungeon items that can be used as bait. Huh, cacao acquired. Nice. I'm assuming that's cacao the person and not like cacao chocolate. That'd be trolly as hell though if it wasn't. I don't understand why all these like evil gnome dudes are named after days of the week. I'm a little confused about why that's a thing. 
Premium chicken? That's a full heal. Come on, give me antidote or something. Crystals. Hmm. That was a waste of ammo. At least it was just one, though. She can open chests, she just can't open the Atla. The, the green orbs on the map, the things that actually give us people. People, houses, and things. Mellow banana can definitely be used as a fishing ingredient, too. I'm suddenly getting so tired, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Bunch more river, that should be enough river to get us to, oh, we need to switch characters. To, to get us to the end, like to finish the river and bring the tree back to life. I'm pretty sure. I think that's more than enough, honestly. I guess the game wanted you to be able to do weird things, like make a full circle around the wise owl, like he asked. But I don't feel like I wanna be bothered to do that. <laughs> It just seems like a lot of work for not necessarily any reward other than maybe, you know, feels good to do that. Oh. <laughs> I need like, some chocolate or some tea or something. Anything but coffee. I tried to drink coffee for the first time, like, I don't know, a handful of days ago. And I can't blame it on the coffee because I was also having stomach issues around the same time, but like, I felt like garbage for the next day at least. I'm like, I'm dying though. I'm so tired. <laughs> it just hit me. I was doing okay when I was playing like Final Fantasy VII. I was tired, but not like dead. Now I feel like death. Real coffee or decaf? Decaf, or uh, real coffee. I still drink deca decaf every now and then. It's rare, but try half-calf. If I was gonna drink like half-calf though, might as well just drink tea, right? Cause tea is just a low, low-ish caffeinated beverage. Speaking of though, that Earl Grey tea that I really like, I did switch it to the regular one instead of the decaf one. I'm gonna try it. Um, cause one, decaf usually doesn't taste as good, and two, excuse me, tea, a cup of tea only has like 30 milligrams of caffeine or something, which isn't much. <laughs> Damn, you consume caffeine, I'm so surprised. I know! I, um, I've been, I do consume tiny bits of caffeine. Uh, I eat chocolate, which I really enjoy, especially dark chocolate, which does have caffeine in it. I mean, chocolate in general does, but dark chocolate has more. And then I do occasionally drink green tea, which has even less caffeine than regular tea, um, but has a little bit in it. And that's why I was like, screw it. I'm exhausted today. I'll give the coffee a go. Um, but then I just felt like absolute shit afterwards. Not full blown like anxiety and stuff, which is why I stopped drinking caffeine to begin with. But like my head was just gross feeling. The next day, my stomach was super gross feeling. So like... I can't say it was the caffeine, but it was really bad timing either way, you know? So, I don't think I'm going to go back to coffee anytime soon, but here in a month or whatever, a couple of months? Was it four months? I forget how often our coffee delivery is, but whenever the next coffee delivery is done, I might try, or I will try regular tea at least. I'm going to turn on my AC real quick to like constantly run. Because I'm getting a little bit warm. Right now I have it on like energy saving mode. And sometimes it struggles to detect that the room's getting too hot. So I'm just gonna, yeah, go click that button and... If I had the remote... I wouldn't have to get up, but the remote's like behind the thing here somewhere, so... BRB. For you, man. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello, even if you do have to go. Soon. Bro, <laughs> where's your meat? I need food. Huh? 
I don't even know. Are we going to run across any more water? Hmm. Our fishing excursion may not end up being uh, so fruitful after all. Ugh. What do you mean? What's wrong with remotes? Remotes make things convenient. I only have... Are we counting controllers? Because <laughs> if we're counting wireless controllers, or just controllers in general, then, then maybe it's ridiculous. But I only have three over here at my desk. Four. Four over here at my desk that I use regularly. And then there's only two um, on the bed that we use regularly. There might be a Roku remote or two that we don't use anymore over there. And a remote for our robot vacuum that we haven't used in a long, long time. But, like, you know, that's only four, five, six, seven. That's only eight remotes, roughly. Yeah. And then if you count controllers, though, that's where it gets ridiculous. Because I have PS2 wireless controller, two Xbox controllers, PS5 controller, actual PS4 controller, PS4 controller that I use for my, uh, whatchamacallit up there, um, Switch, Switch controller, Switch Pro controller, and that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, PS3, I have a PS3 controller floating around here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it's at at the moment, but like, <laughs> it's not that much. It's fine. We got new stuff though. Uh, let's see. We got Pow's house. Oh, so like, does everybody just live in tree houses? Okay. Um, is this the front? How do you actually get up here? I'm guessing there's a ladder on this somewhere. That looks like the front to me. So I'm just gonna put you like, will you fit here? Yes, okay, that's cool. You can go there then, cause you just kind of fit perfectly there. And then, was that the only one? No, we got Baron's house too. Mm, I hate that there's a gap here, but, but sure, you can go over here as well, I guess. Maybe, maybe there, and then if we get something small. Oh, wait, 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 the well. Instead of having the well over here, we can have the well over here, like actually near people's houses where, you know, they can use it at. Okay, cool. Um, you need, as a cheerful wife, Matataki's menstrual weak health. I don't think you go here. I think you're still missing whoever. Has a beautiful mane. Ancient Baron? That sounds like the right that, the right one to me. Always carries an instrument. There we go. And then where's first scarf? That'd be you. So we still know what we're doing with you guys then. Um you're the closest one to being complete. Let's see what you need first, Cacao. Before we... Mess with anybody else's stuff. Mage Slayer? That's a, uh, a thing to add. Both of those are things that we can add to weapons. Okay. We need to talk to him and see what he actually wants. His house to be like... Doing so should unlock the last, the last thingy. Cheese acquired. I like cheese. Of course he's not home though, so <laughs> that's real helpful. Um, okay, where are you? Saw a blue thing over there. That means somebody's walking around over there. Wow. Of course the time of day is gonna change though. That's gonna move people. Uh, he might be back in his house now because of that. I don't know. Oh, this is just the well. No, nah, okay. Whoever's over there is still over there. How do we... Let's check on you, actually. Hello! I haven't seen you around here. I'm Cacao. I'm Gleeman. And you? I see you stream. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh, what do you need for your house? 
Get the room I lock myself in when I compose my music. I can't quite get into the music without that room. So he needs an extra room. Okay. Writing songs needs inspiration. That means you need to hear the voice of nature, like the rustle of trees. So you probably want trees around you, but again, we don't have to give people their wants, I don't think. Hello, Ancient Baron. I haven't seen you around here. Oh, you're from No Rune. Okay. Uh, what do you want in your house? Don't forget the roof. It doesn't rain in Matataki Village, but a mayor's house needs a roof. I have to have my dignity. Wait, it just never rains at all? Here? I guess that explains why that tree's, like, drying up and dying, if it just <laughs> literally never rains. This is a weird house you got, my guy. It's Buster. Okay, is that everything? You can't control the camera here. So it's hard to say for sure, but I think that's everything that's currently available here. We do have a roof. So we might be able to give him what he wants. Oh, do things just pop up in town sometimes too? Fluffy donut. I think that's that's our favorite food, isn't it? Team's favorite food. Yeah, okay, cool. More defense. That's really handy. Hello, sir. You don't seem to be from around here. Well, if you're new here, you should go see Treant first. Uh, sure, but what do you want for your house? I sort of feel restless when I don't have my laundry hanging on the clothesline. Could you do something about that? Yeah, we can do something about that. We have plenty of laundry lines, but first... You, Cacao, you're almost done. There you go, you're done, so we can do your event now. And then... I guess it doesn't matter which one we do next. I think I have everything for this one now. We'll just do pals first. Close line. Oh, he's done. And then you. You don't want that. You want that. Ah, cool. We can finish this one too. I mean, we've been sitting on these people's characters forever. It's nice to be able to finally finish their house, I guess. Uh, pff, weird that we still don't have everything for the mushroom house, though. Oh, there's still a fair bit more to unlock. And then... River. I thought we picked up two sets of river. This might not actually be enough to finish. One, two, three, four. It's exactly how much we need to finish. So we should be able to go and visit ancient tree dude now too but first let's see if we can't do these events oh okay well i guess the i guess the river takes precedent completing that which that's fine fair enough wait wait isn't that the little dickheads that from the from the dungeon why are they opening the water for us Or is that just the game's way of showing us that we need to open the water gates, the floodgates? No, okay, it's flowing. I guess we never actually visited, like, this thing here. Oh, is this where you fish at? Oh, okay. I thought for sure it would have been at the, uh, the little, like, dried up pond area. Can we actually go in here? We can. I thought this was just for decoration. Oh, another gourd. I'm saving the gourds because whenever we get a new character, it'd be nice if they don't get super thirsty super quick. And both of our current characters have a decent amount of um, water, water spots, I guess. Red is nice. More food, more better. Hey there. Come sit. Finally, I can settle down. I hear we owe it to you. Stay for a meal. I'll cook something special. Mmm, I'm full. Wait, <laughs> what'd you even make? The Moon People's Village. Okay. Oh, how do you know... 
that that's what we're looking for. Fruit of Eden. I think that gives us more health. Good luck. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you for the for the thing. My God, does time move too quickly? I'm pretty sure I have it set to the slow speed. I'm pretty sure. I just want to talk to him again, see if he has anything new to say after the event. Um, it's finished. No, okay. Yeah, I. Oh wait, the rare sword that Trian's supposed to have. No, I did not hear about that. That's pretty cool. I thought he was talking about the wise owls. Like, yeah, we already we already bought that. It's old news, bro. But never mind. I don't know why I'm searching the village for chests right now. I should really just wait until like we clear the current dungeon that we're in, like the whole dungeon, because every level or whatever that you complete spawns new chests. But it would be annoying to search the entire town every time you finish one. What shall we talk about today? As promised, I'll tell you anything. Tell me about the mayor's youth. I was one hell of a guy. For one thing, I won the post of the village chief on my own. Probably not even Fudo would have been a match for me back then. Uh, this is called the Matataki Village. How it came to be called that? Let's see. Can't remember how it got its name. I'm getting old. <laughs> tell me about Fudo, then. Fudo, he was the strongest hunter. Invincible was the word for him. No one could beat him until five years ago, that is. He just disappeared, leaving his only son all alone. And Fudo's son is? Obviously that random dude in the woods. He has a gentle nature, a bit chubby, but he has the instincts of a hunter. He is Fudo's son, after all. He could become a great hunter, but there's no hope with him being the way he is now. The day Fudo disappeared, his heart became covered with ick. How can we melt the ice in his heart? Oh, ice. <laughs> I'm quite elegant, aren't I? Oh, uh, I didn't mean to click that one. Yep, 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 you told me that already. Uh, no thank you. It's enough for me, then come whenever you feel like hearing stories from me. You're not gonna give me, like, a fruit of Eden or something? Uh, maybe? Ah, another gourd. Man, we have so many freaking gourds. Fudo's son is gonna be set for life. I'm never gonna need another drink again after we shove all these gourds down his throat. Oh, speaking of the fruit of Eden, though, um, I think I'm gonna, yeah, she's on an odd number. So I'm gonna give it to her just to gear up to an even number. Even though she doesn't need as much health as the main dude, IMO. Still nice for her to have some. And it's always good to be on an even number, man, because, yeah. It itches. Ah, oh, it's you! The house is back now, and finally I can sing again. Thanks to you. You listen to something of mine? Sure. Alright, here I go. The song's titled Legendary Hunter. Everybody's really infatuated with this Fudo dude, huh? Fudo Mighty Fudo will find his prey, this legendary hunter we all admire. No fear spares claw, nor white tiger's fang will ever douse his raging fire. Never misses his mark, and even the deepest dark, brave legend of the hunt will never tire. How'd you like it? The Legendary Hunter. It's a tribute to Fudo. Cool, isn't it? Ah, so cool, my guy. Thank you. The song shows Fudo's charisma. I think it's expressed well in the song. Only Fudo fans like myself could write it. Okay. It's been five years now since Fudo left. He was awesome. Really amazing. He was the hero of our village. No one could be Fudo. He was invincible. Back then, the villagers were attacked by a fearful monster called White Tiger. Many hunters lost their lives fighting the White Tiger, but Fudo, he killed the very White Tiger in one blow. His power was tremendous. After that, Fudo became a hero. The entire village respected Fudo and worshipped him as a guardian god. Fudo was my idol. I knew I couldn't be like Fudo. I've always been skinny and weak, but Fudo made even a person like me want to be strong. Like magic, I felt I could do anything. Then five years ago, he disappeared, and there were rumors that he was killed by a monster called Killer Snake. They said, though injured, he still fought the Killer Snake and died bravely. But I don't believe it. Fudo is too strong. I'm sure he's still alive somewhere. No half-wit Killer Snake could stand a chance against our hero. Ah, uh, he's got an ocarina. You should have played that instead. So about my performance, man? You want to try a musical instrument too? Wait, is he about to give us the ocarina? No, maybe not. A flute. Okay. I mean, that's cool. I don't... Oh. 
Odd tone flute. That looks awfully like an ocarina to me. Just a weird ocarina. It sounds like a mouse. Don't play in strange places. Your old track snakes. Do we... Do we need that to get into, like, the dungeon of the killer snake, maybe? Ah, okay. I need to stop scratching because it's never going to stop itching. It makes weird sounds. It calls snakes. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Um... Cheese can go up there to save inventory space. Keep a hold of the rest of it for now. We do need some more repair powder if we can get any. We need to go talk to the treant. And... Should probably go talk to Fudo again. Or Fudo's son, rather. Now that we've unlocked more, more stuff. More story and, and whatnot. More cheese. Not only a better healing item, but it's also just... If that's what I have on my hotbar, and I don't really want to change it. Just, yes, more stuff. Give give all stuff. And it's cheese! It's exactly what I asked for. Thanks, game. Alright, let's shop. I will sell you the poisonous apple, because I don't care. Um, And those. You buy gourds? No. I'm assuming you don't buy fruits of Eden. Um, how much do you pay for the good food? Not a ton. How much do you pay for grasshoppers? 210? Bruh. Who would have known that, like... That's great. Yes, yeah, screw it. We can always level up weapons the old-fashioned way. That gives us a bunch of money, which we can then use to buy... A bunch of repair powder. A couple auto repair powder. Just in case. A bunch of antidote. There we go. So we should be decent for a little while now. We have a bunch of repair powder. We have a couple auto repair powder just in case I screw up and something is about to break. And we have some level of antidote. I think we're more or less set. Let's go to the, I guess, the, the tree first and then Fudo, just in case we need to talk to the tree for Fudo's son to actually want anything to do with us. Otherwise, he may just, like, be like, no, screw you. Like, I don't know. All right, Mr. Tree, what do you got going on, man? It's only seven o'clock. <laughs> I'm dying here. Oh my god. Hello, tree. Oh my god. I don't remember you having eyes like that the last time I saw you. That's a little. That's a little much. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, <laughs> the mouth was weird enough, man. But those eyes, though. Oh, he wants us to use an item. Oh. No, never mind. Oh, yeah. The hunter's earrings. There we go. So we can understand what he's saying. Oh, there's stuff in here, too. Maybe he'll give us the legendary sword? So tell me now, little one. Is it you who saved me? Uh, probably not. Yeah. Did my best, at least. Oh, good heavens. So it was you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks so much. Let me reward you with a little something then, little one. That's kind of gross. He just sneezed all over us. Hey, go on, please accept this. This is what all hunters long for. It's a rare legendary item, the Serpent Sword. Does it do, like, extra damage against snakes? The sword never breaks. Not until, not until it's accomplished its mission, that is. Once the mission is over, it's a breakable sword like any other. It's a rare item. Take care of it. That's kind of annoying. It makes me want to, like, do some grinding now while it's unbreakable, you know? But probably should just continue the game. Delve the deep pools of my knowledge. Where, uh, how do I reach the moon people's village? Village of the moon people? Yeah, I know it well. There's nothing that I don't know about it. 
Brown Boo Village, that's what it's called. It's at the far end in the woods, but you'll have to use your head a bit if you want to get in. Understand what I mean? No. No, I don't. <laughs> use my head. Does that mean I have to headbutt something? I don't... Who's that guy living up in the tree? That must be Goro. Go Goro? Uh, no one likes him. He's got a rotten personality. He's been that way ever since his dad, Fudo, passed away. He didn't used to be that way. He was a kind-hearted kid. Maybe if he finds out the truth, he'll become that good kid I used to know. What's the truth? Well, that is what you have to find out. Chances are the people in the village will not tell you either. It's a tightly kept secret. Hmm. Okay. Oh, another fruit of Eden. And another gourd. Very cool. Um, yeah, we'll probably just save that stuff for whenever we unlock Goro, Goro, the dude, Fudo's son. That's much easier. <laughs> okay, how is this sword? How are all these other swords? Uh, this one needs repaired. So not sure about that one, whether I want to just let it die or not. These ones are all fine. And then... Oh no, I was actually going to look at it. The legendary sword, huh? Attack a 22... Okay, so it's not that good. Um... As far as, like, just base stats go, right? It just has, like, it has less attack than our other weapons. It does have a bit more endurance, which is nice, but nothing crazy. Speed is in between. MP's low. But I'm assuming it has, like, really high beast killing power. Yeah. Anti-dragon, anti-beast, anti-sky, anti-plant. Okay. Can you be built up? You can. Uh, but just like all of them, you need a bunch of crap. Huh! <laughs> Gives a weapon fire? Um, I don't remember what it needed exactly. Plant, thunder. I wonder what that hood would be. It's not beast, right? No, that's that one. Maybe we'll just save our gems for now. We might as well equip it since it's not going to break, though. Use it until then, at least. Oh, God. Oh, man. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, Noodle, thank you for the five bits. I appreciate that, love. So we can fish here. There's just two different fishing spots. Interesting. Okay. I'm assuming that means there's like different fish in each spot. <laughs> Not that I plan on doing much of the fishing stuff anytime soon, but still, it's neat. Level 8! I don't know if wine's gonna help me wake up at all, but like... See, this is why we need more of those smelling salts, man. I'm not in love with that one. That one's, uh, it's okay. But anyways, yeah, whenever I get tired on stream, I can just down some... Not down some, but just... <laughs> oh, no! I mean, we were a little bit thirsty, but... Garbage. Um... Okay, yeah, didn't lose any stamina at all. That's what I was hoping. Uh, da -da -da -da. Whenever I get tired, I can just start, like, smelling the smelling salts, and we'll be good to go. Bruh, I love that this weapon has no durability. Like, no cost at all. You don't like the ears? I don't hate the ears. I think it just pops a little bit too much for me, I think is the problem. It doesn't, it, it doesn't look bad, right? It's cute. It's just, I don't think it's my favorite. Anti-freeze amulet? I haven't really came across anything that freezes yet that I can think of. I don't think that's been a thing for us yet. How have we been going? An hour and a half almost? After this room, I might have to get up and stretch for a minute just to wake up a little bit.
wonder how many more floors we have to do still. Can't remember how many were in the first one. Of course, no guarantee that it's going to be the same from, like, area to area, that the dungeons will be the same length. It would just make some level of sense to me if they were. Easier, I guess. How did our first couple attacks miss? Boy. There you go. That's better. Alright, uh, like I said, I'm gonna, like, stand up for a minute, stretch a little bit or something, because otherwise I might fall asleep. <laughs> so, uh, very sorry. BRB. That's terrible. I'll message you real quick at least. Aw. That sucks. But thank you for st oh. stopping in and dying, my guy. With a heart. Uh, with stream love. There we go. I imagine chat will load at least, even if the stream itself is Gank and garbage. I hear anger. Is it you? You seem awfully far away to be angry. Why are you angry? You were all the way over there. You don't even have anything useful. And you're diseased. What the fuck? Nate, what's up, my guy? And if you can hear me, Rue, no worries. Like I said, I just appreciate you trying, my guy. I'm on, like, high alert. These cliff racers are coming from fucking everywhere. Halfway across the map, they're just chasing me down. <gasps> Is the rain stopping? Watch us instantly get into, like, an ash storm as soon as the rain ends. <laughs> We're gonna get fucked one way or another. I'm calling it. Ah, uh, that's so much nicer. We don't have the, the rain sounds. The sun's coming out. I like it. Only it could be like this all the time. <laughs> now, you need some variety, of course. Not literally all the time. But, it would be nice if it didn't rain so fucking much. Me too, little dude. I also just want to stand in the middle of the road and scream. <laughs> Uh, lots of strange sounds. Oh, nope, nope. Put the hands out. There we go. Give me good dagger. Dead. Wrecked. Fake. You're gonna be angry too, aren't you? Yeah, you looked angry. Whoa! Bro, calm yourself. I will take your hide, sir. Oh my god, seriously? Oh wait, is it not you guys? Okay. Who's angry at me right now? Is it you? Is it you? Is it both of you? I have no idea. Ooh, short blade. Short, short blade skill. Words are not my strong suit. Take your resin, and I guess nothing from you because you don't give anything. Little beetles are funny, man. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> they're like I'm sure they're oversized, but they're still just bugs, and they're so angry, man. Like you know, I can just squash you, right, dude? Or you just think? Speaking of silence, I saw him today for a very short period of time, but. Hello! I'm back. I'm, uh, awake for the next couple of minutes, at least. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts, man. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, I am really loving this sword, though. I wish, uh, we didn't have to, like, get rid of it. It's super helpful having a sword that just doesn't break. And, like, it doesn't suck at that, too, you know? It's not a super shitty sword or anything, so using it isn't a pain in the ass. Like, it would really suck, you know, if it had, 
five attack or something, something stupid low like that. But thankfully, no, like its attack is, it's not the best we have, but it's good enough. And um, the fact that it never takes durability damage is just A plus. Really good stuff. I wish, so I almost wish, oh, that we could keep it for longer instead of having to just use it until we find, presumably until we find the giant snake. Because I assume once we find the giant snake, that's like the boss or the purpose of the sword, you know? And that monster is pumped with energy? That's new. What monster is it talking about? Or is it talking about monster energy drink? Because that would make a lot of sense, yeah. Those are those are always pumped full of pumped full of energy. How did we miss point blank range against this thing? How do we keep miss Oh, is it like jumping? It's jumping our shots. That's rude. Um but yeah, no. Uh So I feel like we probably won't be able to use it for a whole lot longer, which is kind of sad. Oh, you bastard. Oh, my God. Oh, she died. Well, not like died, died. She just, you know, we have to use stand in powder to switch. Wouldn't that soft lock us in theory? Or couldn't that soft lock us? Because he can't. He can't cross that jumping thing that we were on before. So if we didn't have any of the, the like magic powder, the escape powder, if we didn't have that and we crossed one of those, those like jumping platform things and then a character dies, wouldn't that just be like GG? You have to restart now? Also, we are getting so much river, man. I know there's still houses and stuff we have to build, or, or set pieces of some sort. There's no reason for this many rivers. Seems very much excessive. Mbuku's house. Okay. Unless, like, she doesn't come back right away, right? No. I'm assuming we need, like, some sort of revival powder or something to get her to come back. It's like we can't just feed her food. I don't think. Yeah, no. Antidote drinks, stamina drinks, soap, cheese, fruit of Eden. Yeah, we don't have any sort of thing. I didn't realize we had a stone for the Outu. I don't believe we have anything that we can use to bring her back right now. Oh. Yeah, that might be GG. I don't know. GG for this, like, floor of the dungeon. Unless, unless we have escape powder. I'm not sure we have... Bro, I'm gonna run out of water because I keep drinking it all. Holy crap, I'm about to die too. Let me get into the menu. Unlock. Run. Holy crap, dude. Those mimics. Oh. Probably because we stepped on that stupid pad. And it pumped the monsters up or whatever. I can't believe we drank all of our normal water because I keep hitting triangle or not triangle squ I keep hitting square to attack and it's not square it's just not I don't know why I ate that cheese when I was walking over here to the healing thing that was kind of dumb hydrate you got it now that doesn't heal her right five, one, no. nine, just redeemed hydrate what if we're like in here and no nope okay Take a little sippy sip. Uh, crap. I mean, thankfully the exit is on this side. So if it's the stone that the owl wants, then we'll be good. Because we do have the shiny stone, so we can give him that. Uh, and then we can just like use that to escape. But of course, there's no guarantee that we have whatever we need to leave whenever we cross that, that little jumpy platform bit with Zhao. 
it seems like it could be a bit of an oversight. It would really suck to get softlocked. Potentially lose a lot of progress. Because even when, like, you die in a dungeon, you don't get... You don't, like, go back to the main menu, right? When you die in a dungeon, you just go back to... You just go back to town. You lose half your money, basically, which is annoying, but not terrible. Thankfully, we did get everything from this dungeon, besides a couple of monsters, too, so... As long as we have the thing we need to go down, then we can consider this floor more or less complete. Complete enough. Do a quick sort. And then... Yeah, okay. I was just double-checking that we didn't have the, the pointy nut is the other one. The one that I couldn't remember the name of there for a second. Hmm. I mean, here's hoping, I guess. Because, like... Otherwise, I, I don't think I have any escape powder. I think it's just SOL, man. If he doesn't want this rock. Okay, thank God, man. <laughs> that would have really sucked. I haven't saved since we started today. I mean, I guess... I guess you can let yourself thirst to death. So it's not truly a soft lock. It would just take a long time to, you know, to get out. <laughs> so you have to wait for your water to go all the way down and then for your food to go all the way down and just like, yeah. Now my headphones are dying. First it's controller, now it's headphones. Ugh. Have new house. We don't have new people yet though. Bambuku's house. Um uh, I don't know. Will you fit up here? You will not. I don't really want to put you over there. I don't know. Like I said before, I kinda like having everybody back here in this little nook. Just makes more sense to me, I feel like, for them to be more private people, considering where they live and everything. Okay, so you're Bunbuku. And I'm assuming this is the other person that goes here. And then, you want stairs? I can give you stairs. And we need to talk to you. We're, okay. See why you want stairs, man. The stairs you have right now kind of suck. Also, this camera. Oh, another Fruit of Eden. Holy crap. No, we forgot to go talk to Kudo's son. We probably should. I doubt he's going to come with us right away, but still. Some bread. I like bread. Especially if it's like a fresh homemade loaf. How do you want me to rebuild your house? Nighttime scary without a torch. That's fair. I can get you that uh, eventually. Just have to give me time, kid. And then... Where's your dad at? Because I kind of need to talk to him, too. That or mom, maybe? I don't know. Well, who are you? You're called Stream? A strange name. Uh, yeah, you too, Bambuku. Don't forget the upstairs cabin. That's my room. Okay. That's it for them. Now we can go here. See if Goro, Goro, whatever the hell his name is. See if he's willing to come with us or anything yet. Again, I doubt it, but like, it's worth just checking in on him, right? Seeing what he says. Oh. You don't give up, do you? What do you want? I just, I heard some things about you and your father. Killer snake, that thing really exists? Did it really get my paw? Never mind, you wouldn't know anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he doesn't have anything to tell us yet. I'm assuming, yeah, we kill the killer snake. And then he's so thankful that we killed the killer snake. You know, got revenge for his dad that he then decides that he will uh, stop being a dickhead and come with us and help us with our with our goals, with uh, saving the world, I guess, right? That's more or less what we're trying to do, save the entire world. Ow, by the way, my hair needs brushed. 
still got an hour and a half left. We got this, dude. Halfway there. <laughs> Just don't fall asleep. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Should be should be easy. Uh, why am I doing it this way? I could have just went to the start menu. Oh wait, 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 wait! No, we can't actually go yet. I need to bring her back because I'm assuming she's still dead. No, she did actually get. Oh, she got a full heal. Okay. Uh, well, if the owl sells revival powder though, and we have enough money, I guess it would still be really nice to have some. I'm not going to worry about going back to the other village to see if they have any in that village, though. It's not that worth it to me. We don't die all that often. It's just, I think, because of the, the unlucky curse that we got there. Revival powder. Yeah, there we go. Wait, do I have revival powder? No. Did I sell the revival powder? Maybe. Um, do I have anything to you or that I can sell to you? Sure, take these consumable items. That should give me enough. That's not even revival powder. I'm gonna screwed up. Okay, there we go. Do we still have any stand in powder? I think we have a. Uh, never mind. I thought we had a bunch of that. How much is this stuff? 20 and 50. If I want a skate powder, that'll come in handy. And then I would... S oh, we have a bunch of stand-in. Okay, we just didn't have escape. I just missed it the first time. Alright, we're good. Now, in case we do get into a sock loss situation, we don't have to wait to time out, basically. We can just instantly leave the dungeon, even if there are monsters still alive. Mm -mm. I wonder if we ever get to see, like, any of the big cities, you know? Because I'm, I'm sure there has to be some. There was, like, a traditionally dressed general type of dude there. Oh. Okay. I didn't expect Territory 9 is a boss level of some sort. I should really save. Sadly, I don't think we're allowed to just turn around and leave. Yeah, no. Shoot, I really don't want to clear this floor again. That's great. I guess we're using the escape powder, I, which sucks. I literally just bought it, but I don't want to risk dying, dying. Wait, no, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm half asleep. I was just talking about earlier how, like, there is no death death in this game. You just lose half your money and end up back on the overworld here. That's, duh. Uh, well, that was a waste of money. Oh, well. I guess now if a weapon breaks or something annoying happens, we have a save point to restart from at least. Oh, look at the good side, right? Hopefully I picked the right floor. Yes. Uh, okay, we're going straight into the... Quick time event here? What are you? You're not the snake dudes I was... Or snake dude I was thinking I was going to be fighting here. Well, gee, you guys aren't anything. Unless you're just, like, guarding the door for the real boss. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I saw, like, that door-looking thing over there. I was like, uh, I can't go anywhere? What do? Oh. Yep. They were guarding the real boss, that's all. It's not as big as I was thinking he would be. Wait, is this actually like a QTE base boss, not like the other one? I guess that probably means this isn't the end boss for this area then. Oh, <gasps> no! <laughs> How did I mess up the QTEs, man? Uh, 
fight again. Oh, we don't even have to leave the dungeon. We can just fight again. Did we still lose half our money? We didn't have basically any money anyways. Well, if we lose again, we can we can take a look. We have two right now. I don't think we even lost any of our money though. That's wild. That means these QTE event type dungeons are nothing, man. All right, try this again. Still can't believe I screwed that up. That was so dumb. Yeah, that was... <laughs> They're so easy. I don't know. I don't know, man. Because it gives you, like, that big window to hit it in. Serpent Sword has completed its mission. It is now an, an evolvable sword. That sucks. <laughs> that we lost the, the unbreakable sword, I mean. Bone Pendant acquired. I bet you that was um, Fondo's or whatever his name was. Pendant. Pretty much guarantee it. Wait, where do we go now? Do we just leave? We can't go in here, right? Nah, you dick. Yeah, no, we can't do anything over there. Can't do any. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha! Oh! It's a switch. You need to hit it with a hammer. And you know who has a hammer? Because I sure do! It's our boy, Goro. Okay. I, I bet anything that was his dad's freaking pendant that we just picked up. It just makes too much sense, you know? It's gotta be it. I'm just so exhausted. Hello again. Don't give up, do you? What do you want? I want to give you a thing. The, this thing, wherever it is. The bone pendant is yours, I think. Wait, this is my paws. Where'd you get it? What? Gonna be like the spirit of his dad. Yeah. Goro, how have you been? Dad, where the heck are you? I thought you were dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Goro. Forgive me for having suddenly left you all alone. Where I'm no longer of this world. I'm a spirit now. No, you're lying. It's the truth, son. Before I died, I put a message for you into a pendant. The father you see is that message. Listen carefully, Goro. The evil force that attacked this village is now devouring the entire world. With your allies, you must stop it. Oh. So wait, it wasn't the snake that killed him? It was... Like, the actual genie? If you are really my son, then show me. Honor me and all hunters through your courage and battle. Everybody in the village left you to die. I ain't gonna help these cowards. You misunderstand them. I was not betrayed by my fellow villagers. As you know, I was said to be the best hunter in the village. I killed even that brutal white tiger in one blow. But my body was being gradually weakened by an illness, and I realized I had very little time left for myself. I was a prideful hunter. My pride would not allow me to die of illness. I wanted to die in battle as a hunter should. One day I went into the woods where the fearful killer snake dwelt, taking with me several villagers. I thought the powerful killer snake would be a perfect opponent to end my career as a hunter. But deep inside I wanted to die in this battle. That very hunt was my plan to end my life with pride. Thus I challenged the killer snake to a reckless fight. I of course fought my best, but it was obvious I was not a match for the killer snake with my body weakened by illness. In the end the killer snake got me and started to squeeze me slowly. And soon I saw my fading flame of life start to flicker away. It was what I had wished for, but I chose to die with bravery. Villagers that were with me left quietly. I still remember the sadness in their eyes. They probably all knew. Knowing it all, they stayed to see it through to the end. They still, to this day, speak of me as the strongest hunter that ever was. 
You call them cowards, Gorom, but they keep the truth hidden out of respect for me. But, but why? Why would you do that? Gora, one day you'll understand. I am a hunter, one to die a hunter. And you? You're also a hunter. So go. Fight, Goro. Join with other warriors and fight evil. Be even greater than me. Nah. Poor kid. It's been nice for you to at least, like, talk to your son about all this before you just went and offed yourself, though, you know? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? Me saving the world? Not likely, but I want to give it a shot anyway. Not for the villagers or for dad, but for me. I'll fight for me. Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> I'll become Goro, Mighty Hunter, a legend. Call me whenever you're in trouble. I'll do better than you. Alright, so he hits uh, he hits switches. That's that's fair. Uh, Can we go up? Yes. I just want to know if there's any chests hidden up here before we leave this area. I am curious as well, what kind of weapon does he use? I mean, hammers, obviously, but... Oh! Base attack, 20. Endurance, 30. Speed, 30. For his basic weapon? That's not bad. Feels pretty good, even. Premium chicken, nice. East Buster, it's always cool, I guess. And nothing else, okay. Item! We have stuff for you, man. How many drinks do we have? We have six. So we can give you three of these gourds. And that still leaves two more. I guess it doesn't really matter who gets it. But I feel like I'm going to be using it more on these people are going to be using, like, Zhao and myself more than, than him. So if I need a melee or I already have it in me, and then if I need a ranged person, I already have it in Zhao. Health, though. He can have a couple of these. So he is going to be up close and personal with people. So he's going to need the bonus health. And I guess I'll give the other one to myself, since we're kind of on an equal playing field for health now. Between me and him. Way and easy to use default weapon. Okay. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> bros. Can we nap on stream? Is that an option? We can add it as like a, a redeem thing, you know? Take a half hour nap. <laughs> Okay, we're fine. Everything's good. Go to other area. Why is our forest? Yes. Oh, that's right. We need to use him to open the door. I was like, why? <laughs> But didn't we just have a boss level? Why are there two boss levels in a row? I was so confused there for a second. Nope. Turns out I'm just dumb, that's all. No surprise there, right? Switch. To dude. So what, do we just... <laughs> okay. I have to stop putting water in that first slot. That's that's all there is to it. Or like any actual consumable. I just need to stop putting there. Because I'm just going to keep using them. Here, put another amulet there. <laughs> like, my god, man. Can't believe. Uh, okay. It's fine. Uh, I was just trying to like see how he fought. So he's very slow. But presumably... Does he have, like, a damage buff on top of whatever his weapon damage is? Or maybe his weapons are just stronger in general? There's a long log that looks like a switch. Seems like it can be pushed with a weapon. Yeah, I, I got that. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do that. Uh, yeah, to the next floor.
It's neat that there's like a custom animation depending on who. Oh, it's a limited zone, that's why. Never mind. I did not see how much damage that did. Not much. Oh my god, especially considering like. We don't even have like a backup weapon for him or anything. So we literally just got the dude and they're just shoving him into his own fight all out of nowhere. We could try to guard, but guarding, it turns out, doesn't do, like, anything, man. At least I haven't been able to get it to do anything. He's dead. I can't, I can't use stand and powder. I mean, whatever. We had 12 gold, so we only lost 6 gold for him dying. It's not, it really doesn't matter. Do we need to, like, grind with him a tiny bit first? hope for a weapon drop but like that's actually kind of rare weapon drops don't just happen all the time um okay there's one thing we can do for him we can go to weapon go to his weapon we can customize it at least with i guess plants and fire i don't <laughs> What's his current? Okay, he doesn't currently have an attribute at all, so we can add fire as an attribute to it. Uh, go ahead and activate that. And then make him a little bit better against... Plants? Right now, rock is his best. And mimic. Rock and mimic. I didn't realize mimic was its own, like, category of damage. It's a little odd to me, maybe, but... Guess it's not that big of a deal. There's some items that I really wish weren't so rare. Wait, what? How are there Atla if it's a cursed four? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Using a weapon reduces ABS. Oh, maybe. Maybe I misread what the curse was last time. We weren't being forced to use them. But then why didn't the stand-in powder work? I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I <laughs> There's certain things I hate about this game. The too far away for us to hit. Yeah, it's too far for us to hit. That's a lame. That's a lame. That's lame. Let's go ahead and repair this thing before I let it break. And then... I guess we'll hop back over again and then just, like, instantly switch characters or something. Well, I mean, if we just, like... Yeah, no, we're fine, actually. Never mind. Wait, there's, like, an actual key? Oh, it must be, like, the, the death door in the other dungeon. Da-da-da. I think we've actually had a couple of these before. We need, like, a winged key or something. Watermill 2. Okay. More stuff for the town, which is nice. Switch back to Zhao. Cross the, the thingy. Maybe there was... 12 levels on the other dungeon? I'm not sure. Bros, I'm very sorry, but I think this is going to have to be the last floor. I don't know. I just, I don't think I can, like... I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I'm really trying to, but I am dying over here. Please give us... I don't have a treasure chest key. Uh, it must be an explosion. It was poison. Okay. Um, it's a poison trap. Nope, it's a weapon for the main dude, it looks like. Which is cool, but I was really hoping for something for him. 20, 30, 70. 
so it's faster than these fancy like super rare sword we just got has the same attack but a little bit less endurance i'm sure that'll make a wonderful replacement once we uh run out of repair powder and the serpent sword or whatever starts running out Try that again. Holy, that's consumable. There it is. Oh, it's a mustache key. That's what it's called. Close enough to what I said. Wait, where the? Didn't he drop money or something? Maybe I already picked it up. Mm. A minute? I think that sells pretty well, too, actually. Seems like pretty much all the fit bait does, so if we ever get into a real, like, pinch, I have to remember to go back to the first village and get some of our, our fishing crap out of the, her closet. And just sell it for for a good profit like why wouldn't you bucket who wants a bucket obviously somebody from town does but but I don't know Seems a little weird to me to just be begging for a bucket. I can instantly add new rooms to your house, put a roof over your head if it's breaking or you just don't have one, whatever the case may be. You can do all kinds of things to your house and you just you just want a bucket outside? Wait, is it invincible until it like, oh, because it's head. That's probably why we couldn't hit it before. Not because of a range problem, but when it's underground, its head is invulnerable. That makes reasonable sense, actually. I'm okay for that. Come on, man. This dungeon can't be that much longer. We got this. Oh, um, hop out. Thank you, Miss Holy. Ow. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Switch people, please. Oh wait, there's a thingy. We'll just, we'll just touch the thingy. I would have liked to just like switch people. Six, five, there we go. Pointy chestnut. Okay, that's one of the quest items that we need to get out of this area. Or might end up needing. I guess I don't know for sure which one we need. Oh, we're not allowed to change our weapon at all either. Okay. I didn't see that part of the thingy either. Of the curse. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What a dick. Alright, well, and we're dying, so... Switch. We really need more defense. Also, these mole people suck. They have ranged weapons too? I don't suppose there's a water source around here somewhere, is there? No, of course not. 
my god, I can't even hit the dude before he hits me. Seriously though, bro. Oh my god. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose this stupid freaking mole. Cause like he's too low and I can't attack down. I guess we could do like the special attack. I was gonna say, because that like jumps up in the air and hits the ground, so I guess that should work. Map acquired. Um, okay. We haven't gotten the soul stone, although we could any moment now. Like right there. Okay, there are two more Atla I need to get still. Oh, you're a dick. Why is everything gotta be a mimic? Give me the secrets inside you and, <laughs> and accept it. Don't be a chest if you don't want people rum rummaging around in your chesty bits. I don't, <laughs> inside, I don't know. I give up, I have no idea. Oh God. Do I have any more health stuff? I have bread, oh, I have premium chicken too. You know what, eat some premium chicken. I wonder if the Fruit of Eden. Oh, good miss. I wonder if that gives us a full heal when it, like, raises our health, too. Not that I have any right now. Honestly, Zhao would probably be the best person to use here. Because she could stay away from these stupid people. But of course her weapon's like breaking, so. So we don't really have a choice but to do it ourselves now. Okay. Definitely need, I guess, to fix weapon because we can't switch, right? So I too need some fixing, but oh well. Well three, is that everything? Was it just a bunch of wells at the end of the dungeon? And that's all I see, so maybe. There needs to be a button for like teleport back to start, but without leaving the dungeon. Oh. Just so you can get back there super quickly. I don't know if it's real or not, but it feels like the exit to the dungeon oftentimes is right next to the to the entrance, or at least at least nearby, you know. You're doing fine. You're doing fine now. Oh, is he poisoned? He is poisoned. I didn't realize that. Ally, switch to Zhao. Yeah, I realize her weapon's breaking. I mean, we're gonna have to fix it eventually, I suppose, unless we do end up finding a free way to fix things, so. Go ahead and do it. Just so we don't forget next time. There's no more enemies or anything on this floor, so it probably would have been fine, but why risk it, man? Do you want berry? No, no berry. Do you want shiny rock? Yes, yes you do. Chocobo, I think you're here, man. Sorry to just like call you out like that, but I saw you pop up in the mod list. Um, I do hope you're here. Cause I don't want you losing your stream streak, but I'm literally gonna pass out in this seat if I stay here any longer. So. Wow, someone's a creep. I just looked over and saw his name pop up. <laughs> you're allowed to lurk if that's all you're doing. I didn't mean to, like, call you out. I just didn't want you to lose your streak. And, uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to make it this last hour, man. I'm going to pass out. I'm, like, <laughs> I don't even remember the past, like, half hour. So, <laughs> oh, God, I'm, I'm dying.
let's make a save. I can make multiple save files now too, which is cool, because like the memory card, I don't have to worry about it filling up. Are you gonna take a nap or do you want me to start food? I'm probably gonna fall asleep. I can try and stay up until food's done if you're hungry now, but there's a really good chance that I fall asleep. I am so tired for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I, I just, like a half hour or so after we sat down for the, the thing here, the stream, it's just I started to die, dude. Fine with a nap, you're sleepy? Okay. But yeah, that's fine by me then. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm very sorry. Like I said, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I've been so exhausted lately. I uh, But yeah, I'm going to hop off. I should still be back tomorrow to play Baldur's Gate with my brother. That's still the plan there as far as I'm aware. So, um, yeah. Hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye. That work. It was good seeing him. It's been a while. He said that he misses everybody, by the way, if anybody used to be in stream when Silence used to come in. He's just been super busy working a couple jobs and his phone 